Hi everybody. Welcome to our next question in the series of best of cat. We still continue with arithmetic and this is Amit Panchmatya with you. Let's have a look at the next question. The next question is a question on averages and a slightly difficult one as such. We'll try and explain it in a couple of methods so that you have the best approach for yourself. So, they've told us Ramesh and Gautam are amongst 22 students who are writing an examination. That means there are 20 others beside these two. Ramesh scores 82.5 and the average score of the 21 other students and Gautam is 62. So average excluding Gautam is 62. The average score of all the 22 students is one more than the average score of 21 students other than Ramesh. And we've been asked the score of Gautam. Now understand that we have Ramesh's score, right? We know Ramesh's score is 82.5. Hence making use of statement to earlier made a lot more sense where they told us the average score of all the 22 students was one more than the average score of 21 students other than Ramesh. That means if I exclude Ramesh, if the average score is something, if I include Ramesh, it becomes plus one extra, right? So let's assume that without Ramesh, the average score was X, which means including Ramesh, the new average will become X plus one. And the difference between these two totals will give me Ramesh's score. So when I say without Ramesh, which means there were 21 students and including Ramesh, there are 22 students. So 22 into X plus one will be the total score when Ramesh is included. And 21 into X will be the total score when Ramesh is not included. This should be equal to 82.5, right? Let's continue that. So we'll get 22x minus 21x, which is x. x plus 22 is 82.5, which means x is 60.5. And x plus 1, that is the average of everybody, including Ramesh, is 61.5. We got that much. Let's leave that over here. And now let's read the part about Gautam. So what have they said? The average score of the 21 students other than Gautam is 62. That means if I don't include Gautam, the average is 62. And there are 21 students over here, right? And we know that if I include everybody, that is 22 students, the average is 61.5. So average is 61.5 for all the 22 students. So if I now find the difference again between these two, that should give me Gautam score. So Gautam score G will be 22 into 61.5 minus 21 into 62, 22 into 62, 61.5. Instead of doing that calculation, just multiply the two inside, gives you 11 into how much? What is double of 61.5? That will become 123 minus 21 into 62. 21 two is 42, four carry. 21 six is 126 plus four is 130. Let's multiply 11 into 123, that is 33, 22 plus 3, 5, 2, 13. 1353 3 minus 1302, which is 51 is Gautam score, which is the second option. As I had said, it was not a very easy question to understand. First, the most important part was to use the second statement earlier than the first statement. That was because Ramesh's score was available and also the calculation was slightly difficult. Let's have a look at one more approach for the same question. As in the earlier method, we will start with the second statement only. That is, we'll start with this statement, but we're going to use only allegations over here. Let's see how do we go about that. So they've told us the average score of all the 22 students is one more than the average score of 21 students. So if I say the average score of 21 students is X and Ramesh's score is 82.5, when they are mixed, you know, it's like mixtures. The average becomes X plus one. The ratio is one is to 21. The ratio we know is one is to 21 because here there is only one child, Ramesh, and here there are 21 students. So if I subtract using allegations, X plus one minus X gives me one. I don't need to subtract this. If one corresponds to one, 21 will correspond to 21. So 82.5 minus X plus one is 21. Therefore X plus one is 82.5 minus 21, which is 
whichever way you prefer for the first part of the question doesn't matter the first part even the earlier method was okay reaching 61.5 by both the method was okay but the important one was the second method or the second part of the question now in the second part of the question they have said for all the see the average score of 21 students other than gautam was 62 that means 62 was the average of 21 students gautam score if i take it as g and the average for everybody else is 61.5 now again i know that these are 21 students and this is one style what is 62.5 minus 61.5 0.5 if one corresponds to 0.5 21 will correspond to 10.5 i hope everybody understands this let's have a look at it once more if one corresponds to 0.5 then 21 will correspond to 10.5 so 61.5 minus g will be 10.5 61.5 minus 10.5 g will become 51 and that's my second option so you notice that you saved a lot of time calculating things which are not necessary in the second method please see that you understood the second method and if you have not understood you should practice it with the practice question we'll give you which answer you will see tomorrow in the comment section